welcome to another hair tutorial on this very tight curls. I have already shown you how to curl your hair without heat overnight, without any hair damage, using soft and bendy jumbo curlers. If you missed that video, you can check it out following the link in the description box. But then I received many questions on how to curl your hair with jumbo curlers, so that the curls start closer to the roots. That's what I'm going to address today. This video is going to be followed up by the second part, where I'm going to present you several hairstyles for curly hair, another very popular demand for my subscribers. Jumbo curlers are basically soft bendy foam rollers, which are my favorite hair curling technique. You can use them to achieve different effects, not necessarily those super bouncy and tight curls, you can also use them to create soft waves, but today I'll be going for those super voluminous and tight curls. No matter what hair rollers you want to use, you don't want to apply them on totally wet hair. So your hair should be like 80% dry. What I usually do, I wait for it to dry completely, and then I simply spray it with some water. I grab the first section of hair that lies right above my forehead and I'm going to roll it onto my roller. And here my main advice is to always start rolling your hair from the ends. Because if you start from the roots, the result will be different, your curls will be creased, they will look messy and you won't be able to achieve that perfectly defined curl. And when you reach your roots, you simply secure your roller, bending its ends forward. Just like this. Now I'm going to section the following strands of hair. I basically pick all the hair that lies above my ears till the middle part. I'll be working on the left side of my head. If you have layers, you can just pick them up and add to the roller as you go. I roll the hair downward and I secure the roller directing the ends to the right. This kind of an approach will allow me to keep some of my roots straight. This is something that I like to do, because otherwise the volume that I get is simply unbelievable. But of course, if that's what you're after, you could apply your curlers in several horizontal rows. Just make sure to roll your hair downward and secure the roller directing the ends upward. And then I repeat a symmetric procedure on the right side. Now you have to only let your hair dry naturally for 5 to 10 hours, depending on the thickness of your hair and the temperature in your apartment. Going to sleep and waking up with beautiful curls is the easiest solution. Or if you're running out of time, you can always use a hair dryer. In the morning, you have to make sure that your hair is totally dry, the curls won't hold if your hair is still slightly humid. And then you start removing your rollers. And here, of course, you have to spend some time working on the texture of your curls. So what I like to do is to split each big curl in tiny multiple curls and redefine them twisting each tiny strand of hair around my finger. At first, these curls are always going to be super tight, but simply give them some time. They're going to relax and look much more natural. And one last but very important tip. You notice that I applied the rollers using the middle part, but leaving your hair with that middle part honestly doesn't look that great. And now to make all these curls appear much more natural, I'm going to change my parting. I'm going to bring most of my hair to one side. If you want to decorate your curls or in case you're concerned with the amount of volume you obtained, you can significantly reduce it using a regular headband. You simply have to place it over your curls. In the second part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple of hairstyles that can be done with this kind of curls, so I invite you to check it out. Thanks for watching, and I see you in my next video. Bye!